check these out. You press the two buttons on either side here and you should hear it say power on or power off. So here we go. Power on. Have you got to hear that? So yeah, this is a thing. Whoa, how cool do those look? You can see the Silence Kills Me is imprinted along the inside like a pad here and a pad here. This is a Bluetooth Pop 5.0. It's sweat proof and you're meant to get more than four hours worth of playtime out of this thing. USB type A connector, which you plug into your wall adapter. Obviously they don't supply that here, keeping the cost down, which is cool because I've got way too many connectors as they are. And then you've got the contact points along each one of these that plug into the ends of the sunglasses. So you can see they only go one way around. All you simply do is align it up and push it in until it reaches its slot. And you do the same with the other side here. And notice the Zungle logo here is completely gray. When you plug it in, it symbolizes that it's charging by emitting a red light. So bone conduction, you've got these two pads on either side here, touching your bone, your skull here, and conducting the sound through it. So in theory, no one else should be able to hear what I'm listening to. So I'm just going to play an instrumental here, one of my favorite soundtracks from a movie. And I like the idea that your ears are still open so you can still hear things around you, not necessarily uh, zoning everything out. I do like that a lot. See, you shouldn't be able to hear that. There's a lot of sound leak. The people around you can't actually hear what you're listening to and that shouldn't be the case. Definitely no bass there and no mids, but if you're listening to vocals, like I'm listening to The Breakfast Club here. I don't know if the microphone will pick up on this. It's definitely usable and it doesn't appear to be too tinny. It's definitely more tinny compared to full cans or earbuds that you would have in your ears. I'm just going to switch this off because it's a bit annoying trying to talk while this is blaring in my ears. So yeah, definitely usable if you're listening to a podcast or maybe an audio book. But if you're going to be listening to music, then it's way too tinny for my liking. And particularly, you don't want to be that guy that's walking around with his music blasting and everyone else has to listen to what you're listening to. Don't be that guy. Put some headphones in or earplugs in. But yeah, this is not usable in terms of bone conduction appliance on your face. You should be the only one that can hear what you're listening to. Everyone else shouldn't have to put up with the rubbish music that you may or may not be listening to. So shout out to Zungle for sending these out. I'm not being paid for this, but I don't think this is going to suit most people. I'd be interested to know if you've ever used any bone conduction tech that works as intended. And by that I mean no one else can hear what you're listening to.